Area high school students tested their engineering skills on Tuesday at the Mahoning Valley Miniature Bridge Building Competition at YSU. Teams of two to three students had three hours to construct their bridges. They do come up with their own designs. They are not allowed to pre-assemble anything or pre-build it. It has to be built here. There's a height and length limits that the bridges are required to meet. Um, ultimately, we are looking for the lightest bridge that can carry the most weight. It has to be a certain deck width. It has to be able to, for a car to roll across it. The balsa wood bridges weren't just required to be strong, they also had to look nice, with aesthetics an important component to the judging. We have too much compression on the top, so we, we figure that out by finding out how much compression balsa wood can take. Um, it's really easy to cut and glue together. Super glue works really good. Imagine that the reason that they use the balsa wood is because they know how strong it is. They can test uh, how much compression it can take and how much uh, tension it can take before it snaps. That way we can use that in order to build our bridge the best way we can. Right now we're putting a support on the side to keep the arch pieces in. This is the eighth year YSU has hosted the competition. I think it's uh, very important to get kids interested and show them exactly what a career in engineering and bridge design and building can do. I was hoping I want to do it in the future and build stuff. And this, to me, this um, practice. I think it gives uh, younger students a better understanding of what the job applies to and, and to see where their interest is in that job field gives the students an, an idea of what we have to go through in our profession and um, you know a lot of them get uh, some hands-on experience by building these mini bridges. Everything that like we do now involves like a building or a structure or it's essentially like how we live our lives. Without it like we'd be pretty lost. <laughs> After they're given time to dry the bridges are tested for compliance. The bridges are then given a 10-pound load with additional weight added until the bridge fails. Yeah. Ursuline High School Team B took second place with a $50 cash prize. Taking home first place and the $100 prize was Hubbard High School Team A, whose bridge maxed out at 117.2 pounds. It was a lot of weight distribution we were working with. Uh, we had a pretty good idea of how, to, how we wanted to build our bridge. And what we did was we made sure we kept everything at even 45 degree angles, very even uh, measurements all throughout. You read all the time in all the different journals about our aging infrastructure within the United States. And this is a great segue into that career.